so we have seen how to take a simple random sample from a population another sampling technique that might be helpful in this situation is a stratified sampling see if you stratify based on certain variables then it would allow you to capture a wide range of user perspectives and preferences and then based upon that the ott platform can enhance their service and attract more subscribers also so let us see how we can do stratified sampling in this dataset so to do that we will first look at the dimensions of this dataset by using this command over here data dot shape so you can see here that 1000 rows are there and 11 columns are there so this command over here is basically used to determine the dimensions of the data frame that we have considered okay so now we will first begin with the stratification with respect to the age stratify by age okay see if you stratify by age groups then it will be highly valuable because different age groups may have different preferences and perceptions for example younger users might have different content preference and expectations compared to older users so let us see we will first of all suppose that we are going to take a sample of size 5 so basically it means that we want to create a stratified sample where each stratum will have five samples so now let us give the command over here that we want a so we will use this group by function over here so data dot group by and in bracket we will write age because age is the column with respect to which we want to stratify and then here we will write that group keys is equal to false so it means that we do not want the age groups as the index so we want a flat index instead so that is why we mentioned this as false and here the first part of this shows that we are grouping the original data set that was data we are grouping it with respect to the age column it means that it creates separate groups of data for each unique age value for example if there are people with ages suppose 25 30 35 then it will create three different groups one for each age now after this we will apply a function let us let me write this dot apply lambda group group dot sample min so i am writing it first and then i will explain you the meaning of this yes so for each of these so here we will get the different age groups and for each of the age groups now we are going to apply a function which basically first of all evaluates the length of that group that it sees how many rows are there in that current age group and then it it takes the value minimum between this the length of the group and the total sample size so this ensures that if a group has fewer samples than n that the sample size then it will take all the available samples from that group so for instance if any particular age group has only three rows then it is going to take all the three rows because here it is going to be less than five and five is the sample size so it will take all three of them and then finally what we are doing here we are so here we are randomly sampling the number of rows which we have determined over here so this basically creates a stratified sample within each group so let us see and print what we get as the output yes 
we will use the f string and then for the new line we are writing this stratified sample by age and in bracket I will write sample size n each. So, each sample is of size 5 in this case. Okay. And then let us see how our data set looks like. So, let us take only the top 12 rows. See, if I do not write anything within these brackets, then it means that it will by default take only top 5 rows. But if I am mentioning over here 12, it means that it will be taking the first 12 rows of the stratified sample that we have obtained. So, let us run this. So, you see that first of all this heading is coming stratified sample by age and in bracket sample size 5 each. Okay. Now, what is here? For the age group 20, it has taken 5 samples. Similarly, for the age group 21, it has taken 5 samples and so on. Okay. So, it has basically, so basically here we have taken the original data set and we have grouped it by age and finally created a stratified sample where each age group has a sample size of 5. And such analysis would be helpful in making inferences about different age groups within the data set. So, if you change here, let me make this change 10 and run these. So, you can run it with this command also. So, it gets modified accordingly. So, the first 10 from here, if you see the first 10 rows corresponds to 20 age. Okay. Next, we can also stratify by subscription plan. When we stratify by subscription plan, it provides basically us the insights into how users with different levels of commitment and access to features perceive the service. Because in this case, subscription plan, you can see that you have three categories. One is the basic one, then you have premium and then ultra. So, basically, if you stratify based on the subscription plan, it would help the OTT platform to tailor improvements based upon the specific subscription tires. So, let us write it stratify by subscription plan. So, first of all, let me write n is equal to 5 that is the sample size. Now, we are going to stratify with respect to the subscription subs only I am writing here. So, again we are going to group the original data set with respect to this subscription plan column as we have done earlier also. So, in the previous one we grouped by age here we are going to group by subscription plan. So, rest of the command remains the same with just the difference that here age is replaced by the subscription plan. So, let us see how it is done. So, data dot group by and here we will write subscription plan, the name of the column, you have to write the exact name, then group keys should be false, then we will apply this function over here dot apply lambda group group dot sample. So, you will take random samples for how many rows depending upon what is the minimum of these two. So, minimum of length group comma n. Oh, sorry. So, there is one group ending over here. Yeah. Okay. 
okay so let us now print the same thing so we can just simply copy this here it will be subscription plan and let us see what is the final output yes so here we have stratified with respect to the subscription plan so from each plan that is basic or premium or ultra from each of these three five samples have been taken okay and if you want to take more you can change this n over here and you can see the heading is also in the same way as we have given the command okay now we will also stratify by content quality because content quality also would give you insight into the user satisfaction because understanding how users with varying perceptions of content quality view your service it can help the ott platform to curate their content and also enhance the quality of their content so let us see stratify by content quality because in content quality what are what are the categories there so you have fair excellent good poor so four categories are there so now we want to group the original data with respect to the content quality column so all the commands and everything remain the same the only difference would come where we are giving this so instead of grouping by subscription plan so we can just write it here so instead of subscription plan i am will write content quality okay yes so first of all it will calculate the number of rows in each group and then compare it with the sample size if it is less than that then it will take all the available samples otherwise it will randomly sample five of them so this code over here will generate a stratified sample where content quality rating group has a sample of size 5 so let us print what we wanted over here see here i should change this because this is for content so let me write content over here and similarly content by content quality okay so i have to run this again and then i will yeah so now with respect to the content quality because there are four categories so from excellent it has picked five samples again with from fair and likewise from good and poor also okay so by doing this stratification it would ensure that each content quality rating category is properly represented in the sample and it will make it more useful for analyzing perceptions based on different content quality ratings okay so till now we have seen stratification with respect to age subscription plan and content quality so note that when we did stratification with respect to the age then it looked at a particular age like 20 it picked all the users who have age 20 and then it sampled from there similarly it had another group of age 21 but at times it is not necessary to individually look at separate ages right 2021 instead it can be considered as an age interval within which we could like to stratify and see what is the behavior for that particular age group in order to do this if you look at the data we do not have any such column with age intervals 
so it means that we have to create a new column that is age interval and add it to the original data set and then we will stratify with respect to that column that is the age interval column so let us see how can we define this function that is age interval so for this first of all let us define this age intervals age intervals so i am considering here from 20 to 30 30 to 40 likewise 40 to 15 so users can be from any of these age groups 51 to 60 sorry here it should be and finally 61 to 70 okay so here what we have done we have defined a list of age intervals and each tuple in the list basically represents a range of ages like 20 or 30 this interval basically corresponds to the ages between 20 and 30. Now we will create a function create a function to assign each age to an interval. So we will define a function named assign underscore age underscore interval which will take age as the input okay so in this case what is happening we are defining this function over here that is taking age as an input and then it will assign this age our target is to assign this particular age to one of these intervals right so it will first of all pick one of the ages from here okay and then it will find an interval to which it belongs okay and finally it will give the output so we will find through this function we will be able to create a new column that is age interval okay so let us see how we define this function after this we are going to initiate a for loop for interval in age intervals okay for interval over here so this is going to initiate a for loop that iterates through each interval in this list and it will check the condition if interval that is the lower bound is less than equal to the age less than equal to interval 1 okay so here when in this loop it will check this if statement if the age basically falls between this lower and the upper bound of the current interval okay so suppose it has taken 20 the age suppose is 25 then it will check with each interval whether it belongs to that or not if it goes through this then it will identify that okay it falls in this interval basically then it will give the output return we will use the f string interval 0 minus interval 1 okay f so first it will evaluate what is the interval this is the lower bound and this is the upper bound it will first evaluate and then it will give the output and if it does not belong to any of these interval then finally it will give an unknown output return unknown okay so this is in case the age does not fall into any of these intervals then it will give an output as unknown okay so what we have done over here we have created a new function to assign each age to an interval so first it will take an age as the input and then it will initiate a for loop where it will check 
through each of these intervals in which it lies. So, if the age falls within the lower and the upper bound that is in this case 20 to 30, if it falls then it will return 20, 30 in double quotes. Okay. Otherwise, if it does the age that it has chosen, it does not fall in any of the intervals. Suppose the age is 19 and we have not defined it over here, then it will give the output as unknown. Okay. So, now we have created this function. Now, we have to apply this age interval to the original data set. So, how do we do that? Data. So, let us give that column name as age group. Data age, this was the original, and now we want to apply this function over here that we have defined. Okay. So, you are creating a new column that is age group and you are adding it to your original data set data by applying this function over here to each age in the age column. Okay. So, this column will contain the age intervals to which each individual belongs. To for instance, if you look over here, here at the end you will have a column named age group and here it will represent the interval to which this particular age belongs. Since it is 37, so the interval over here will be 31 to 40. Okay. Likewise, if it is 27, then it will display the interval as 20 to 30 and for this 58, it will give from 51 to 60 and likewise for each age, it will give you an interval. So, basically now you have created a new column in your data set right? and what are the categories in this? These are the 5 intervals and categories with respect to which you can now stratify. Okay. So, now we can simply age in so sorry sorry this should be age intervals not age interval. Okay. So, now we can stratify with respect to this age group. So, again we can just write n is equal to 5. So, we are basically looking for samples of size 5 and now we are going to stratify stratified underscore sample underscore age intervals okay so we can in the same way same way we can group the data set with respect to this new column that we have defined that is age group and we will keep the group keys as false group underscore keys equal to false and now we will apply the function that is lambda lambda group colon group dot sample length group comma n and then two brackets will close right now you can print if you don't want the heading you just simply want to see what is there we can just see the output yeah so you can see that the age group column has been added and you can see corresponding to each age it has given the interval to which it belongs and see from like age first interval is 20 to 30. So, it has taken 5 samples from 20 to 30 again from 31 to 40 it has taken 5 samples and likewise. So, this is how you do stratified sampling with respect to different variables, but if there is no variable present in it and you want to introduce that particular column. So, you need to define a function and for this case we had the base as the age right so in the similar way if you want to do it for any other column you can make this change accordingly and go ahead so basically this is all about your first week in the next week 
we will learn about different summary measures both for numerical and categorical variables. Thank you.